Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on simple console input. I'm going to go and open up my website here to javacjava.com. Click begin. Just take us to the Java tutorials. I'm going to scroll down here to the simple console input tutorial. So throughout my tutorials, I've used the print and the print line methods extensively. These methods are part of a large set of standard classes that make up the Java class library, the JCL. In this tutorial, I will teach you the most basic way to receive input from the console, and that's the system.in.read method. In order to use this method, I will have to use some syntax for a concept called exception handling. Now, exception handling will be handled in great detail in future tutorials, so you can ignore the small amount of syntax for now. We're going to go ahead and just simply come down here and we'll just highlight this, hit control C. Move this off, off screen here. We'll go to start, search, type in CMD. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to start, run, type in CMD. That'll open up the command prompt. Go ahead and type in Java C. And if you don't see all this stuff scroll by and you see some error message, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit to make sure you get that installed and configured properly. We'll type in uh, CLS to clear the screen, cd space backslash, cd is short for change directory and backslash tells it to go to the root. Let's type in MD Java. That'll make directory a Java folder. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. Do CD Java. We'll do uh, MD uh, system in read folder. And we'll go ahead and change to that folder. And now we'll do uh, notepad, um, System in read.java. System in read.java is our source code file name, also known as our compilation unit, must end in the .java extension. Okay, we'll go ahead and paste this in here. I hit control V to paste, or you could right click and select paste. Um, it's a really, really simple tutorial today. So basically, we've got our system.in.read class declaration, we've got our main method right here. Um, along with this, the syntax for the, uh, the exception handling, which you can completely ignore right now. Don't even worry about that. And then we've got our opening, um, opening brace and closing brace for our method body for the main method. Now we're just going to display to the console, please enter a single character. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call the system.in.read method there. And of course we're casting the result of this method into a, um, a char data type. And the system.in.read method will basically just leave a little cursor there and it'll basically loop waiting for us to input something or other and then press the enter key will terminate whatever we input, right? And that will cause it to return back. Um, we're gonna do cast it to a char value and we've um, basically initializing, dynamically initializing this variable C of char data type. And then we're just going to go ahead and press, um, or um, use the print line method and say you pressed, and then plus whatever character you press. So basically, the the system.in.read method, when it's sitting there looping at the um, the character, it's what's it's a term called blocking, right? And it's very very similar. So just think of like looping as blocking, right? So just nothing executes until you press the enter on that read method there and then it'll go ahead and continue on executing statements after that. So uh, let's make sure we got this saved. Let's pop back here, type in CLS. We're gonna type in Java C for the Java compiler. Do system.in.read.java, go ahead and compile it, and then we'll do Java, and we'll strip off that. We'll invoke the system dot, or system in read class. And we're going to put in a single character, and I'll just put in like A, right? You press A, bada boom, bada bang. So, um, that's pretty much it for it there. I'll just give you some final thoughts on this. Uh, I've been using the system.in.read method in many of my tutorials. Um, the extent that I will be using it will be to retrieve a single character input from the console. Uh, that is why I, this tutorial is so short. I just want to introduce you to the method before I begin using it in my future tutorials. However, if you're like me, you may want to Google the method and learn more about the things that it's capable of. Go ahead if you like, but it's really not necessary. There are much better ways to receive input from the console, but most of them require a much greater understanding of the Java language. 
Now, other better methods will be covered in detail in future tutorials. I go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.